Yeah, right. So for all you guys with a razor and not a mouse, to properly fix this, I'm sure by now you know how to take it completely apart. So I'm going to skip all that, go look at someone else's video, but if you look right here, I get this to focus. Come on. There we go. That, see that contact in there? When you actually press the button, it's that little contact that's dirty, and just spraying cleaner in it isn't going to clean it properly. Button, actually, when you first take it apart, it looks like that. But if you look closely, there's a little tab on either side, and if you carefully pop up those tabs, it'll actually expose that button, the actual internals of the switch. But I mind you to be careful while you're doing this because you see that little white thing? It goes into that thing to make the, that button. And that little thing falls out of there because I already lost it and took a good couple minutes finding it. So if you get it apart that far, like I said, right there, that little contact, clean it out like emery cloth or something. And there you go. It is actually fixable. Don't throw your mouse away. Don't destroy it. It's a com it's a real common problem, and it is fixable. So there you go. Problem solved permanently.